Hello everyone and thank you for watching. I'm recording this video today to talk about this being my last week of proton radiation treatment. I can't believe that I'm finally here. It feels like it's been a long road, but at the same time it kind of feels like it's gone by really fast. Um, I'm just glad it's over. It hasn't been my favorite six weeks in the world, that's for sure. Definitely ready for it to be done with. Uh, I also want to talk about some of the side effects I've been feeling five weeks into my treatment and what you can kind of expect if you're having to go through this. And I'll get to all that here in just a second. I just wanted to take a second say, if you guys haven't yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber really helps. Every like, every form of engagement is awesome. I really appreciate everybody's support. I don't think I could do it without you guys. And without the support of my family, it really helps out a lot when you're going through something like this. But anyway, back to what I was saying earlier, this is my final week of treatment. And man, it has been an emotionally long road. Uh, that is for sure. Physically, it's been hard, obviously. Mentally, it's been hard for sure. Not just on me, on the rest of my family as well that have all been worried about me. But it's getting to the end now. And I'm not going to lie. You know, I'm going to kind of miss the people up there. Some of them were just, well, let me rephrase that. Everyone up there was just amazing. They were all so nice and so friendly. You didn't just feel like another patient up there. You felt like they really cared about what you were going through. I really enjoyed everybody I had to see daily, even though I didn't want to be there. The reason why I was there was uncomfortable. They knew how to make it feel less like that. Because when you're up there getting strapped to that table, a lot of people don't realize, but somebody I spoke to on the phone about a week ago put it well. Um, you know, you're up there being tortured. That's what's happening to you. Um, it's not malicious. It's for a good cause, but that is what's happening. You're up there in a place that you don't want to be in, having to go through something you don't want to go through. And unfortunately, you just have to do that sometimes. And I understand that. It's not their fault, but it is definitely an uncomfortable position. And when I think about it too much, it's kind of overwhelming. I've, I've never been one to have to take anxiety medicine or to go through anxiety problems, but this definitely changed me on that. Uh, it's not every day, but some days are definitely hard. Um, and I'll be glad that this is coming to an end. I also wanted to say today was my son's graduation, and I am so proud of him. He's going from eighth grade to high school, which is a big deal. And he was very happy about it. He's been going through a lot of stress with me going through all this and seeing the rest of the family being tore up over this. It's been a crazy ride for him and he definitely deserved every award that he won today. He's a great kid. You know, I couldn't ask for better kids than all three of my kids. They're all amazing. Definitely a lot better behaved than I was growing up. Um, anyway, uh, so I guess I'll get to some of the side effects that I wanted to talk about five weeks into treatment. Um, some of them have stayed the same. The pain in my head, obviously, the crazy headaches, just the burning on my face, the crispy feeling all the time. Your your skin's always dry on your face. Your eyes are always watering, or at least mine are. My left eye here has been watering ever since surgery, but it definitely just pours down like a waterfall now, and my nose constantly runs. But definitely some of the newer side effects that I've been experiencing that have just exacerbated a lot in the last week are the nausea, especially. Ugh. I had such a rough day Friday. I actually ended up going to the ER over the nausea I had because it was causing me chest pains. And I assume that's what it was. But I just wanted to be careful and go get checked out because I've realized this last year that it could be anything. So you need to be sure. So that's what I did. And it was probably just pulled muscles from me throwing up a lot. It's been heavy nausea. So that is definitely gotten worse. They prescribed me some medicine. It's called Zofran and it helps with nausea. And they want me to take it around the clock. So that's what I'm going to start doing. Every six hours, I'm going to take a dose. And even if I'm not feeling nausea, I probably will be. So they want me just to keep taking it. It's not like I can't hold everything down that I eat. It's just there's always uneasy nausea feeling, whether I'm running the car, whether I'm eating. It's always there and it's really aggravating. So I'll be glad when that's finally over with. Um, definitely another side effect that has exacerbated those law is how dry my eyes are. I mean, you can just see it in this clip here. Oh, they are so dry. They're constantly pouring water. I've been using Visine. One of the nurses up there at Proton Therapy told me to try fake tears, I think is what she called it. And uh, it's a better way to lubricate your eyes. So I'm going to try that. That's my next plan of attack here to keep my eyes under control because whew, they are very irritating. <coughs> but anyway, I don't want to spend too much time rambling. I just wanted to say that I cannot believe that I'm finally here. I can't believe it's the end of the week. 
Um, just four more days left to go. And I really don't know what I'm going to do with myself after this treatment's over. It seems like it went from cancer to surgery to healing from surgery to right to radiation. And now that it's ending, I don't know what to do. It feels kind of weird. This cancer has been such a big part of my life the last six months. Yeah, I just don't even know what to do next. So I guess that'll come as it goes. And like I said earlier, you know, I'm going to miss my doctor up there, Dr. Meek. I'm assuming I will go in for another checkup with him at some point after all this is over. But I hope so, because I really like him. I'm also going to miss some of the therapists up there. They're all so great. Everybody that worked with me are, was just amazing. Just awesome. Uh, but anyway, I don't want to spend too much time rambling. If you guys haven't yet subscribed, please hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber really helps. Every form of engagement, every like, every comment, it all really means a lot to me. You guys are amazing. I couldn't do this without you. Thank you all for watching. I will see you guys in the next video.